We have a lot to do today. You get papers. We'll look into that more later. You get some new cardboard. You get two set of airlines. I think these are the fronts. You get, what is it called? The whole assembly of strut. Yeah. Okay. You just, the, these are the fronts. Oh, nice. They come with their own dials, fittings. Um, oh, you get the dampeners for the top. You get one wrenches. Since it only has like one, one spindle. With the other one. This is like tires. You'd have to. No stickers. Gosh dang it. Wow, that's neat. This is the air tank. Six by 30, five port, 200 PSI. It's tested for 400 and it's brushed. I mean, I don't know if that's like. Brushed is like. I like how this stuff is packaged though, it's so nice. It's so neat. Oh! Oh, can nice, man. Oh, it has a booty hole. It has a <laughs> That's cool. And it has air lift etched onto the bottom of it. Focus. We'll get a close up on this one. Lock out the address. Oh, yeah. Go, go copy your stuff from the reflected image. More paperwork. Let's get these. These are for the rear. Another cute, another spindle. Packaged so nicely. Some nice cardboard. Oh, more fittings for the rear. Am I weak or are these just heavy? Uh. They're fancy. It kind of reminds me of like, a, like one of those prosthetic socks. Makes me excited. Like, yeah. what if it's kind of Jordan's at 3K. That's what I'm about to say. <laughs> wow. Oh, it's all the hardware. Oh. The buttons. The man, it, yeah. This is the one. Open it. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. I won't be able to just. This is. This is the. Oh. So this is all the wiring and shit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, man. The management system. Yeah. This is like the most expensive thing. This is, heavy. is it actually? You, you throw it at Kel, you'll die. Holy. This is. Why the fuck would <laughs> you throw it at me? <laughs> Dude. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like the packaging on this. <laughs> Bless you. You're welcome. There's two of us, I said, bless you. Okay, so we're gonna get started. Uh, we're gonna start on the rears first, just because I already have, well, let's move. We already have the seats basically off, but I gotta release the center caps. And then we're gonna take these out, and then throw, take Kel's off, and then throw these coilovers onto Kel's car. That's where we're gonna start now, and then once we start getting to the back, we'll start doing more, but I'm not gonna record doing this, just because, I don't know, taking coilovers off is the same thing as putting the bags in. <laughs> you already I gotta get started then take the center caps off. No Uvi Uzi so hard. What? what? You're hard? Getting his lugs loosened. 
off, so we're just ready to just pop them out from the top. But I could not get these stupid camber bolts off sitting there and cursing at the car well. Woo! Break time. Here's the comparison. It's about like an inch, I would say. So, but these things literally kicked mine and Kel's ass. So, both our cars are matching right now. We're gonna go ahead and put in the BCs and then we'll put the bags or the rears on and then we'll see where we go from there. Um, I think our goal is just to get suspension switched from this one off of this one from that one to this one and then those over there to this sounds confusing but bc's to kells and then kells off and then bc's on and then airbags on how much of a pain was it oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so airlift they'll send you like a Cool instruction thing. This looks very nice. Needs to put that. Yeah, shout out to Airlift for doing this. Not a lot of people, or I should say, companies send out stuff like this. This is really nice. Okay, so day two, um, we're gonna be running this ignition wire into your fuse box. Okay, so it's number eleven on your fuse box. This one's ignition. It's right here in your. You just pull this down pop this out but you'll be able to see and then your kit comes with i struggle to find this but it's a fuse tap but sim simply just take out your fuse i took the fuse the wrong one out now that i'm realizing it you grab your fuse and you grab your little fuse tap you want to find the one that has like a little cutout to it i don't know if you guys can see but it has a little cutout just slip it over the fuse boom and then this goes into this i don't know what these are called but Make sure it fits, put that on, boom. And then you have a little, you're gonna grab this from your kit and the fuse, fuse goes in here and boom, you connect it. I'm gonna go ahead and connect it all so that way you guys can see and then do it. But I looked at a lot of videos and a lot of videos don't actually show you, but little, little tap in is what you wanna grab, this. So it should look like this everything you're gonna need for the ignition and it's gonna go into your fuse over there. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like after so that way you guys know what to do because not a lot of video guys show you like up close but I will so this is what you're gonna need. <laughs> up but that's okay so we actually went and got this from autozone uh before i found out that i can use that that it did come with a tap in fuse or whatever so i got this but you can use it with the kit like i showed you guys and then just a lot easier but give it a good tug make sure it's in there and then this goes to the one that it came with in the kit you put the three fuse in there and then same thing as this just put the little heat shrink like i was doing in the time lapse Give it a good tug, make sure it's in there, and then it should just pop back in to your, which one is this one? And then it fits right in there, which looks like this, but I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up first before I show you guys, because then it like, doesn't give it the final product. Voila, this one's in there finally, so we can just go ahead and tuck this, cap this off, close it, and then we're gonna start on the ones for the batteries, which should be a little bit more simpler. I mean, this wasn't too hard. It's just, it was just me trying to figure out everything. So, okay, I can't do this one-handed. Oh, yes, I can. Look at that. YouTube star in the making, guys. Wow. Ah, aha. I made that shit my bitch. Just like I. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is the positive wire one. I'm gonna wanna grab this. So you grab this, came with your kit as well. Grab the fuse, grab this, and the heat shrink. This is, we're just gonna do the positive red one right now, and then we'll show you guys what it looks like once we're done. I'll just throw you guys up on the time lapse.
gonna look like when you're connecting it for the battery, the red terminal. Uh, mine came looped, so just splice it and then just connect it. Looks exactly like this, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and do the negative. And that one's just a little bit simpler. You just gotta connect this one of these onto the end of this, but we'll still show you guys what it looks like. This is what it looks like. Simple, negative one's easier. So we have everything lined up from into the engine bay. Ignition one on and then it runs underneath the carpet. Back into the trunk. There you go. Um, you're not going to need these. Well, if you're running uh, 3H, I won't be doing 3H, but that's for that. I'm just going to tape that up nicely and then you have everything else in here. So, simple stuff now. But that's all the wire you need for this all the way up here to the front. The last one we are missing is only the one for the controller. Which I know it's right here. But I don't know where I want to run this yet, so that's my only issue. But that's it for this part. And then if we're gonna start on the back now. I'm putting this on the left side, same thing, compressor. Now I'm doing that on that side and then just plugging up the rest of what I don't use. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it and then I'll show you guys the parts I used. So that way you guys can actually see that. I hate that every video I watch does not show me like, oh, use this one in baggy CA, you know, but it is what it is and you try to figure out how it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it all together and then I'll show you guys how I did it, and then if it works, it works. Just, I'm just gonna throw you guys up on the time lapse so, so you guys can just watch me do it. filter you need to have the arrow facing this way and then you want to get this fitting this two-sided fitting um, I'm not sure what size it is but it'll come in one of your baggies and then just use this one filter and then this end into the tank I'm gonna go ahead um, hand tighten first and then start twisting it with your universal handy dandy tool <laughs> the filter on now we're gonna go ahead and put some Teflon tape or I forgot what it's called and then we're gonna go ahead and plug the booty hole of the air tank <laughs> that's what it looks like so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it that's, that was just too much next is this little um, filter you get with the compressor and so you just take out the little safety and then you actually put it in here. Okay, I got the compressor connected to the tank. This is all tightened up. We got the bottom one, you're gonna use a little 90. And then over here, just the filter. All right, so we finished off the air tank, guys, uh, with everything on. So we got this running for this when you wanna release your water or whatever. I don't know why they have two ways, but you have both, so. I have it set up perfectly to where I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in the rears and then we're gonna route the lines and then we'll show you guys where we route them and everything so that we guys know. These are the ones you guys are gonna wanna use. Little elbow, uh, T fitting, and then looks like this. But, and then this one and then you run a line, another elbow line to your management, the little ECU thingy. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw on the rears and then we'll show you guys what it looks like. Let's go! Okay, when you go to install your front bags, um, cut these. Anything that is gonna be in the way and possibly pop your bag, just get rid of it while it's out. Otherwise, you're gonna have a lot of fun trying to 
take out your bag. I'm gonna use just my Milwaukee cutter with this, so we'll show you guys what it looks like after. It's a pops. You got these all shaved down. So you're gonna go ahead and do the other side. Goat. And then we can throw this one in. Axles in. Here's the rear, hopefully you guys can hear me. I'm gonna put some cable, like connector thing up right here so that way it holds. And then I just ran it to there, into there, there. That's the rear. Um the rear is officially done. Okay. Hopefully it works. And then I'll show you guys the front. Okay, here we have the airlines on the bottom. Um, judge me, but this is the way I liked it. And I will learn from my mistake if something happens. So, I mean, the only thing we really need to clean up is just the harness right there that goes to the battery. But we got the passenger side goes right through that rail. Avoids the downpipe so it doesn't melt. And then we're good. Just got to clip the zip ties. And it should be all done. If they ever like end up breaking or something and I see that it's becoming an issue through where I ran them, I'll make an update video and if I find a better place to run them or if you guys have a better place, let me know. I did run it through the inside as much as I could. Okay, I mean, it's not pretty right now, but I mean, it's just gonna hold the air tank and the management for now. I think I'll do a different video where I'll actually cover on how to make a nice trunk set up because that was the whole plan but obviously you learn one way and then you try to do things another way so that's just going to be safe for another video um i'm going to go ahead and start mounting the tank the management and then officially running the lines through and then we should be good okay so long story short um i cross-threaded my air tank um I did not mean to do this when I was putting the tank into the trunk. I didn't think that I should have just put it in after. Um, basically what I did was I was trying to fit the compressor into the air tank. I guess I just misthreaded it or something, but um, that sucks. So my fitting, my one fourth check valve is what it's called. If you guys are curious, I'll put a picture up here on the screen so you guys can see it. it does not work anymore. Um, I thought you could just use it without, but you actually need a check valve. Um, I got this locally, holds 250 PSI. We're gonna see if it works. If it works, great. If it doesn't, then, oh well, this is my last resort and we will just order one. But I basically rethreaded my air tank. It's a one fourth if this happens to you. I literally have looked everywhere and I have found no one that this has happened to. So one fourth, um, you wanna get a one way valve for air. Uh, it's called a check valve, one one way check valve. Um, you'll see it. I'll put pictures on the screen of what they look like. I literally tried everything, guys. Like I, I literally look okay. at. See, this is the old one. Arrow, cross threaded, no work. Um, I literally was gonna try this, but um, you would have to manually. Yeah, just I was just I've been I want to drive my car. So we're gonna try this. This should work one way. So, I mean, from what I've heard, these are doo-doo. So, I mean, if they could come out with like a better, I don't know, design, that would be magnificent because then people wouldn't have to like struggle. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all of this in. I'm gonna figure out the setup. I'll walk you guys through if I have any complications. If you guys have issues at home, and I didn't mention anything in this video or I didn't go through it, don't be afraid to message me or comment down below. And I will answer you guys um, just cause I know what it's like to have questions and then not get them answered. So if you guys have questions, let me know. I, I will be more than happy to help. More than happy to help. You're, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this in so that way we can drive the the bug bug eye. I'm just talking to myself now, but all right, we'll be back. DIY PCV or not PCV? I don't know why I keep saying PCV, but I mean it's in. Um, 
let's get this shit going. I really want this to work, so um, yeah, let's go ahead and try this. Okay, let's try this again. Controller on, yes, compressor should kick on. That sounds a lot better, honestly. Yes, yes. Oh, wait. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do this all because it's just annoying. Um, basically, just go through the setup settings. Like, if you were doing it yourself, um, it's kind of basic. So, we'll get to like when I explain everything. All right, we're about to put the car on the ground. Now I'm gonna get cleaned up so I can move the car out and we can see how it dries. After smelling like butt for like a day straight, we're finally moving this out of the garage. I have a mess though, I need to clean everything up. Guys. Compressor's probably gonna kick on. Oh, this feels so sick, guys. Oh, I, I didn't record. What do you think? The bags, yeah, what do you oh, think? It. Looks better. Yeah, it looks even better when you're driving though. Yeah, but I can't drive like that. I wish. <laughs> what do you think? Even yeah, though I already nuts. showed you, but... <laughs> what? Nuts. I like oh, your nuts. Your oh yeah, they're dirty. That's not pink of it, right? All right, for the purpose of the ending of this video, I cannot start the car. Um, my downpipe is off and I don't have my intercooler on. And I'm feeling a little too lazy to put it back on right now. Yes, the car does air up and down. Perfectly fine, compressor works. Everything works. I also managed to break my first ever front lip. Snapped. Also, I'm trying to see, we'll get some new air on the way, install it. We're waiting for Kel's Arrow too, so we can get that on too for all you Hawkeye owners. Same thing, GD ear, same, same thing. So um, if you stuck around to the end of this video, thank you so much. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe. Uh, we're gonna be pushing out some more content. Um, get ready, guys. The car is about to change all over again. Uh, body kit still gonna stay the same. Color is gonna change, and I believe that will be everything. But we are actually gonna do it right and have a proper person do it. Oh, and a quick update through where I ran the lines through the front. Um, I ran them through the brace behind the transmission, so that way it's like not always hitting heat. So it's been doing good. It hasn't been hitting, it hasn't been melting. Um, the only leak I have really is in the tank, but I mean, I'm just too lazy to fix that. I mean, it still airs up and airs down, so I'm okay with that. Um, thank you so much for watching today's video. Um, today I'm going to make sure I clear all my SD cards so we can get back on the camera and we won't have to deal with this audio and this camera on my phone. So we're going to be back on the camera next week, guys. I'm trying my best to get these videos out to you. I'm trying to get the videos out to you guys as quickly as possible. I'm doing my best. I forgot about you guys. Thank you so much for the love and support recently. Honestly, we just hit 405 subscribers as of right now. So super stoked on that as we continue and progress every day. So thank you so much and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Feel me. I might sip out this bottle until it get hollow. Shit, I might sip out this bottle, just drowning my sorrows. Drowning my sorrows, be better tomorrow. Cause these broken dreams is as hard as it gets. My nigga died at only 25. I'm thanking God for letting me see him.